Hey YouTube, it's pretty late so I gotta kinda keep my voice down a little bit. Uh, sorry for the pretty dismal video yesterday. I was getting used to the um, webcam feature on the new Windows 8 laptop I've acquired. But, um, hopefully this will be a little bit better since I'm back to the nice Panasonic camera. But like I promised yesterday, I'm making an unboxing of the um, V3, or VQ3, whatever you want to call it, whatever it's called, and the gear ball by Umefort, which you know is really by Oscar Van Devender, but Umefort's the one who's marketing it. And by the way, um, hope everyone at the World Championships having fun. I know that me, myself, and Pi, Pesvic, Red KB are there, and it's in Las Vegas, Nevada, so I think it's pretty, it's too late to go there right now, but anyway, it looked like it was fun and wish I could have gone. But enough on that, let's unbox this V3. Now, ironically, although V cubes are predominantly white, made of white plastic, all of mine are black, so this is my first actual white V cube. So, let me see if I can figure out how to open this without damaging the packaging. Because I'm also into collecting the boxes of cubes. Well, I'm into keeping the box. I never have a box and never have the cube, if you know what I mean. It's good to read instructions. It says open right there. That's what I should have done in the beginning. So I haven't messed with this before. This is my first time. Now, these are not legal in competitions. You know why? Because they're pillowed. A pillow cube allows you to see more than three faces at a time. Well, it comes with extra stickers. I really wasn't expecting that, especially it being sold in Barnes & Nobles. So most people who go to Barnes & Nobles are into cubes and probably have no idea what to do with these. Probably stick them on their face and stuff. Well, they did make a cubic V-cube, not a pillowed version. I don't need instructions. I can solve a Rubik's cube. First turn feels pretty good. I still like my die in better. I think the, the pillowed pillowness is something to be um, gotten used to. But yeah, it turns really nice. That was a um, 270 degree turn right there. Actually, I'm very impressed, to be honest. I had no idea it would be this good. I thought it was going to be like clanky, you know, uh, coggy, and it has a slightly oiled feel to it, which can explain the gloss on it, pretty glossy. This is actually going to be quite a joy to solve, actually feels very nice in the hands, and don't make a joke about that, uh, I don't want to open it up in fear of breaking it, but there you go. Very nice, actually. Doesn't cut corners quite as well as a um, die-in, but it's not too bad. It's definitely the best local cube I've ever gotten. Now it's time for the gear cube, which is not a cube. It's a sphere with little pegs on it. I don't think there's a scientific word for that. Well, let's open this up. Sometimes the box itself is the hardest puzzle. Sometimes us Rubik's Cubers actually lack common sense. We have other common sense. Let's see. First impression. Very noisy. Oh, it turns very nice. I'm very impressed with this. Here you go, Oscar. There's your name right there. Mefferts. Mefferts. Oscar. Mefferts. 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 Poor Oscar only gets his name on the orange side. What I like about this is it's always a sphere, even mid turn. This is a very nice feel to it. I do have a gear cube, 
but I actually I, I like this a lot better even though I just opened it I have a feeling I'm going to be using this a lot more which isn't saying very much because I don't use the um, gear cube too much whoa it's not good that's actually very nice and both of these were $20 each and if you have the money and you have a Barnes and Nobles um, run out and get one um, they're really good actually I'm, I'm very impressed so thanks for watching and I hope you enjoyed um, enjoyed it and uh, thanks for listening